Okay, a very quick recap what we learned in our first lesson. Uh. We started with your chapter 3 already, okay? So in the last lessons that I taught you something called relative mass, uh, a very quick recap, uh, 10 minutes, okay? So relative mass, the word relative stands for comparison, okay? The word relative stands for comparison. So you want to compare the mass of a fella with a reference. So your reference is always 1 over 12 of carbon 12, okay? You always take 1 over 12 of carbon 12 to be a reference. Which means that for one whole carbon, you take only one twelfth of it, a small piece of it. You compare with this further. So this further can have three possibilities. If this further is an atom, you call it as relative atomic mass. You call it a RAM. If this further you go to put in a molecule, you call it as relative molecular mass. Okay? If this further, you go to put in an ionic compound, one ionic substance, okay? So then this further called relative formula mass. Remember guys, at the end of the day, the word relative mass is stand for comparison. That's why relative mass is uniqueless, okay? Because comparison don't need any unit, okay? We stand approximate <coughs> one hour on this in our first lesson, okay? So I hope all of you still remember this, okay? And do remember, you all, in order to find the, okay, relative formula mass or relative molecular mass, to find the mass of a molecule or the mass of an ionic compound, you all just need to go and sum up all the relative atomic mass. Okay. You go to add all the relative atomic mass in the substance, you will know the total mass of it. Example, uh, just a very quick example recap. Uh. So let's say the question want me to find the relative. The question want me to find the relative formula mass. They want me to find the mass of a guy. This guy called Al2O3. I was given additional information. I was given RAM, the atomic mass for aluminium was 27, the atomic mass for oxygen was 16. Remember all these figures don't memorize, okay? They gave you, your job is to know how to use it, that's all. So you just add everything together. Aluminium, the mass was 27, you have two of it, times two. Oxygen, the mass was 16, you have three of it, times three. Final answer, one, zero, two. Understand? No unit at all. You write one, zero, two graph wrong. 102 kilogram wrong. Understand? 102. No unique because relative mass is a comparison. You shouldn't have any unique. Okay? So this is the first five minutes. Okay, the second five minutes is this. We also learned a super, super important thing called mole. So make sure you know what is the mole concept. I told you before, mole you can link with like a dozen. One dozen always represent 12 units. One dozen always and forever represent 12 units. When I say one mole, it always represents 6.02 times 10 power 23 units. That's it, yeah? So your brain needs to program with a new number. You used to program a number called 12 for one dozen. For today and onward, you need to program a new number called mole. When I say one mole means this much. 6.02 multiplied 10 power 23, okay? So, we must know about your calculation, okay? This is your mole calculation. Mole calculation, I told you something about a, a map, okay? There is a map to help you understand better, okay? So we only saw so one part, huh? so mole always converted to and converted from three further. I repeat, mole always can converted to and converted from three further. The first further called mass, which we covered before Chinese New Year. The second one called volume. Guys, I want to double check one more time. I haven't started with volume, not at all. Okay, good, we'll do today. Eh? The third one is called quantity. So today our job is to finish with the volume and quantity because I haven't teach you. But let's do five minute recap as usual. Eh? Okay, I told you this before Chinese New Year break. I say, first of all, you must understand what is a unit. The unit for the mole is MOL. Unit for mole is MOL. The unit for the mass is gram. Huh? So don't confuse. Huh? 
Some people say why? Just now you say no unique, but now you say you don't unique. The one no unique is relative mass. When I say relative mass, no unique. When I say mass, got unique here. And you have to be very careful. One of the misconceptions for many people is what? You learn physics and physics confuse you. Because in physics, uh, in physics, the unit for you for the best is kilogram. For chemistry, <coughs> we don't use kilogram, it's too much already. We use gram. So please be very careful. Okay? You all must know what is the operation and what is the relationship. When you want to change mole to mass, mass to mole always use RAM, relative atomic mass that we learned previously. Lastly, you must know your operation. Mole change to anything times anything change to mole divide. Okay? So this is a very important relationship that you need to know. Okay? So now let us use the two examples to recap again, then we can move on to what we learned today. Okay? So these two, if you attended the class previously, you don't copy these two examples, okay? Just a very, very quick recap. Huh? Okay. I use two very random examples to help you all to recall back. Okay, the question might sound like this. Find the number of moles. Find the number of moles in 51 gram of aluminium oxide. <coughs> aluminium oxide is Al2O3. You guys are given the RAM of aluminium is 27, oxygen is 16. Eh? So let me use two examples to recap, then we will move on with our lesson today. Eh? Just bear with me, okay? So, by me saying that, whenever you get chemistry calculation, in the first place, always ask yourself two simple questions. The first question asks yourself what I have. The second question is self-asking what I want, always. Make it a habit. Every time you get a question, ask yourself what you have and what you want. So you are very clear about your objective. So what we have, we have 51 gram. When you see gram, it represented mass. What I want, I'm looking about more. So I have mass, I wanted to find more. So change the mass, become the more. Okay, everyone? Yeah, right. So mass and more related by what relationship? RAM. Okay? So RAM is the relationship. <coughs> After that, you must find the operation times or divide. Always remember, anything become more, divide. More become anything times. Okay? So you want to change something to more, divide. So let's do it. Your mass is 51. Divide by what is your RAM? You can find yourself. AL2O3, the RAM. AL is 27, multiplied by 2. Oxygen, the RM was 16 multiplied by 3. It was 102. So 102 is the RAM for my fuller aluminum oxide. So I divide by it 102. 51 divided 102 answer 0 0.5. Okay? Final unit because I'm looking upon mole. My final unit, M O L. Are you doing that? Okay? One last example before we continue up with our lesson today. Yeah? Example number 2. <coughs> Let's say, find the mass. I want to find the mass for three moles. I have three moles of a further called sulfur dioxide. Let's say. So sulfur dioxide is SO2. Huh? Okay, so you are given also the RAM. RAM of sulfur is given to be 32. Oxygen is given to be 60. Everything is given, spoon feed up. Huh? Now, same thing, ask yourself the two questions, what I have and what I want. Eh? So what I have, I have three moles, so I have more. So what I want, I am looking for the masses, so mass. So mole is what I have, uh, mass is what I want, so mole become mass. Mole and mass related by R-A-M. Operation, mole change to any particular thing, times. So your mole is 3 multiplied. What is your RAM? Find yourself. You all have sulfur dioxide SO2. Sulfur the mass was 32. Oxygen the mass is given to be 16. You have 2 oxygen. Please multiply 2. You got 64. Okay? So 3 multiplied the RAM. RAM you found just now 64. 
Okay, <coughs> so your final answer 192. Is it okay? Final unit for your mass. Mass unit is gram. Understand? This is what we learned before Chinese New Year. Okay? I hope all of you still remember this stuff. Okay? Settle. So we have settled one of the legs. We have three legs. Huh? We settled one leg. So today we will settle two more legs. Understand? Okay, no worry. Because if you fully understand this concept, the rest is very easy. Okay, everyone, let's do leg number two. Come on. It's something new, all of you stay focused, especially if you never learn in school or you don't understand what you learn in school, you should stay focused more. Huh? Huh? Today we learn here. More and the module. Okay. For your entire chemistry, your volume can refer to two fella. I repeat, for your entire chemistry, your volume can refer to two fella. One fella called gas. One fella called liquid. I repeat, for chemistry, volume always for liquid and also gases. They will never ever ask you to find volume for a solid in chemistry. Okay? So, in this chapter, the volume is referring for gas. In this chapter, the volume is referred to gas. Okay? You will learn volume of liquid in your chapter 7. Okay? Four more chapters from now. Okay, don't worry on that. But first and foremost, I want you all to know the unit. And this will be very new and a bit awkward to you all. Huh? Coming from PD3, the unit for volume that you always you all you always use is cm cube and meter cube. Am I right? Get it? Coming from PD3, when you come to volume, normally it's cm3 or m3. Understand? In chemistry, you're not using any one of them. You're using a new fella called DM3. Something new. D stands for deci. We call it deci meter cubic. Okay, we call it deci. Pronunciation doesn't matter. They won't ask you to pronounce. Understand? You just know it's DM3. Okay, so this is something new one. It's not CM3, it's not DM3. Okay, now you must know how does the DM3 convert it to your CM3. Everyone must know. Look at the blue color thingy. 1 decimeter cubic is equivalent to 1,000 centimeter cube. 1 dm cube is equal to 1,000 cm cube. Which means to say, if the question gives us cm cube, you want to convert to become dm cube, you must go to divide by 1,000. If you have dm cube, you want to change to cm cube, you go to times 1000. Understand? You must know this scale factor. Very important. Something new. Something new. Have to be very careful. Huh? So follow me. Okay? So all of us, we know that gas occupy space. Gas occupy space. Just like in this room. All of us, we know that air. Right? Although you can't see. We can't see that. But we know about air. And the air is occupied this particular room. Okay? So for your information, all the gas occupy certain volume. There are two important conditions. I repeat, there are two important conditions you need to know in your SPM. Huh? Look at here. So the first condition in SPM is called standard condition. Standard condition. Standard condition, short form is right as STP. STP is a short form for standard. T is temperature. P is pressure. You don't need to know how to write it. One last one. Yeah? STP is standard temperature pressure. Also called standard condition. At standard condition, every one mole of the gas go to occupy this number 22.4 dm cube. So, should we memorize the number? No need. They will give you. Here, so at standard condition, so your gas is occupied 24 dm cube. Okay, the second one is called room. Room condition. Room condition also can be written as RTP. Room temperature pressure. Room temperature pressure, okay? Which is called room condition. At room condition, every one mole of the gas is occupied. Magic number? 24 dm cube. So which means that at different condition, the volume occupied by the gas is slightly different. Again, take my words, don't memorize the number. Clear? All these numbers, they will tell you. Then some people say, Sir, how on earth I know they want me to use room or standard condition? Question will tell you clearly. Understand? The question will tell you clearly. No worry, I give you an example. You will understand what I mean. Okay? Now, 
Let's come back the map and finish the map first. Then I show you two example. Ah, huh? come. So mole to volume, volume to mole. Use the number twenty two point four or twenty four. Depends on STP or RTP. Twenty two point four or twenty four. Okay. Same thing we learned before. Mole change to anything. Mole change to anything. Times. Anything change to mole. Divide. It's still the same. Understand? Yeah. The best way to learn is by example. You might feel very confused, you don't know what I'm talking about. No worry. Example will help you a lot. So follow me for two examples, then you do five to six questions for me. Okay? Alright? So now let me do some example. If after three examples you still feel very blur, just raise your hand, ask me. Just ask me. I want you to be clear on it. Huh? Okay, let me show you three examples. Come on, follow me, please. Example number one. Question say find the volume. Find the volume. Occupied by gas Z at RTP. Okay, you guys are given the question said given molar volume, given molar volume at RTP is 24 decimeter cubic. That's it. Okay, now. Every time when you get a question, don't be nervous, don't be panicked, just ask yourself the two simple and stupid question first. What you have, what you want. Start with that. First question, what I have. So I have, okay, find the volume occupied by gas. Okay, I should add a bit more, sorry, yeah? I should add a bit more here. Four more. Sorry, my bad, huh? Okay. Okay. So what you have, I have four moles. I have more. Okay? Next one, what I want. I am looking at volume. So I have more, I wanted volume. Am I right? More becoming volume. Okay, first of all, more to volume, what is the relationship? 22.4 or 24. How on earth I know I should use 22.4 or 24? I see what they give me. They give me 24. I use 24. They give me 22.4, I use 22.4. Understand? No question about it. That's why I say, you don't need to memorize the number. People say, sir, how to memorize the number? Who asked you to memorize the number? You don't need. You don't memorize the number. All these numbers are given to you. Your job is to learn how to use it. Clear? Alright? So they give me 24, use 24. Lah. Alright? Okay, now, next one. Last thing, operation. More change to volume, when more change to any other thing, operation hits times. Here, yeah? more becomes something times, something becomes more divide. Understand? So, times. Let's do it. What is my more? 4. Multiplied by 24. Answer, 96. Am I right? Okay, be careful with the unit. Huh? What is the final unit for volume? If you get used to PT3, you write meter cube. Sorry, whole thing wrong. Here, yeah? if you get used to PT3, you write CM3 whole thing wrong. It should be B and Q. Understand? Not M3, not CM3, but M3. Understand? So please be careful. One of the things you all have to be alert here. In SPM, in chemistry, volume of gas is no longer CMQ. It's no longer MQ. It's DMQ. Understand? This is something you have to be careful here. A lot of people, they get everything correct, but the unit wrong. Wasted. Here, wasted. If everything correct, the unit is wrong. Wasted. Okay? Next one. Okay? One more example. Huh? Okay, let me keep, let me make the example sounds a little bit harder though. Come, example number two. Huh? Let me make it sounds a little bit harder. Example number two. Find the number of moles. Find the number of moles of, okay, 1,120 centimeter cube of ammonia gas at standard condition okay so this is how the question sounds like question give you given you guys are given molar volume okay at standard condition at standard condition the molar volume is given to be 22.4 dmq is given okay let's do it okay ask yourself there's two questions what i have and what i want huh? so what i have i have 1120 cmq everything power 3 what is it 
Everything power three will need. I have to hold it. Understand? So what I want. So I wanted to find more. So I have volume, I want more. Volume to more. Okay? Alright, now let's go for relationship. So the question say standard condition. So standard condition, magic number 22.4. Like guys, I'll be very frank with you. Lah. I don't freaking care if it's standard or room. Lah. They give me what I use for. Here, alright? I don't care if it's standard or room. You give me what value, I use what value. Simple as that. You give me 22.4, I just use. Alright? Now, 22.4 DMQ, right? Now be careful, be careful, and be additional careful here. This are huh? volume to more operation. Anything to more divide. Okay, everything more divide. Okay, now follow me, please. What is my volume? One one two zero oh, divide by twenty two point four. Many people do this, and you are wrong. Why? The one one two zero oh is CMQ. The two two point four is DMQ. You have irregular unit. Understand? Cannot do. The unit is not the same. Uh. One color CMQ, one color DMQ. Understand or not? So your job is to change everything become CMQ or everything become DMQ. Up to your personal preference. Understand? You can make everything become DMQ or everything become CMQ. My personal favorite, my personal preference, I love everything become CMQ. My personal preference, not necessarily yours one. So I will change everything to become CMQ. So on top is 1120 CMQ and the bottom 22.4 DMQ. I learned just now, every 1 DMQ is 1000 CMQ. So to change 22.4 DMQ to CMQ, I DMQ to CMQ, DMQ to CMQ, I multiply by 1000. Understand? So my denominator, I multiply by 1000, I become 1120 CMQ on top. I keep it. At the bottom, 22.4 multiplied by 1,000, 22,400 CMQ. Now, numerator is CMQ, denominator is CMQ. When you and me have same unit, okay, can do already. Here, the unit cut off 1120 divided by 22.4, answer 0 0.05. Understand? Here, final unit, I am looking at more. My final answer is MOL. End of story. Here, simple as that. Not very hard, right? Not. Okay, it's not very hard, but a bit harder than mass. Why? Mass is so straightforward. Volume, the tricky part as in CMQ, DMQ. The tricky part is 22.4 or 24. Understand? But mass is super straightforward, nothing to shout about. Most of you can do the mass very well. Understand? But guys, if you fully understand the mass, is it okay for me to say that if you understand the mass perfectly, when it comes to volume, it's not too hard as well? Or not? Because it still follows the same rules, isn't it? The rules is say more becomes something time, something becomes more divide or not. Okay? You just change the question a little bit only. Is it all good there? Okay, same thing guys. I don't want you to copy all those things because like what I say, I want the time for you to be in the classroom to be very productive. So don't copy yet. Do exercise first. Is it okay? Everyone, I will tell you what are the exercises you can do. Then only after we you do, after we discuss if everything goes well, then only you copy if you think it's necessary. Okay, everyone take out your exercise booklet, please. All of you have been using it. So put your put your exercise book on the table, couple with your calculator. If you don't have a calculator, turn on to your handphone, your calculator apps. Okay? Alright guys, now. You all should do this. Okay, turn to the page of number 8. Huh? Turn to page number 8, please. Alright? Page number 8. Page number 8. Guys, do you see I marked down anything on the page? You saw that? Good. You do all the questions I marked. Is that okay? Do question 1, A, B, C. Do question 4 and 5. Do question 6 A, B, C, D. Alright? I'll give you guys approximate 10 to 15 minutes to do, which is more than enough. No, guys, no rush. Take your time. Do slowly, okay? Don't do careless mistake. And show me some good working. I don't want you press, 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 calculate the only get the value. Cannot. Because when you come to your SVM, your working carry some marks. So you all must train yourself to write a good working. So everyone focus on doing exercise first. Huh? Don't be easy to copy what is written on the whiteboard yet. Do first. 10 to 15 minutes from now. Come on. Okay. Right, guys. So now let's learn the last one. 
This is the last leg, which is the most confusing one. I repeat one more time. We have three legs in mode, mass, volume. And the last one is quantity. The last one is very tricky. I want you all to uh, focus. And then if you have any question, ask me. Huh? Okay, now, let me settle the last thing with you. So we, we erase all this thing off first. Let me just erase all this thing. I want to keep it as clean as possible. Okay, so now, your focus is here. Okay, your focus is this one. Okay, this one is the empty one. So let's focus on here. Mole and quantity. First of all, quantity means what? You go to count something. You go to count something. In chemistry, in chemistry, when a quantity go to count, you always go to count the quantity of particle. Guys, I taught you particle in chapter two, right? Or not? When I say particle, you got three fellas. One is called atom. One is called molecule. One is called ion. Understand? So the particle. Okay, so they will ask you how many atoms you have, how many molecules you have. How many ion you have? So when you come to quantity, they can ask you to find atom molecule ion. Okay? Depends on question. All good? Okay, now, when you want to change mole to quantity, what is the relationship you should use? I repeat, when you want to change mole to quantity, what is the relationship? Quantity, quantity, the amount. Just like you remember, one mole equal to 0 6.02 0 times 10 power 23, the magic number or not. One mole is 6.02 times 10 power 23, that much. That number, we learned last week, okay, for last week, sorry, two weeks before, before Chinese New Year, we call it as Avogadro constant. So we call the number called Avogadro constant because Avogadro is the scientist who discovered the number. So he say that every one mole, you have 6.02 multiplied 10 power 23, okay? This is the amount of particle you have in one mole. Understand? Alright? If you really, really blur, just remember this. One dozen is 12, one mole is this much. Here, yeah, it's the same thing how you link them together. Okay, depends on question. Although, theoretically, you learn 6.02. Theoretically, you learn 6.02, but depends on question. Sometimes the question gives you 6 times 10 power 23. So sometimes they don't give you the O2. It's okay. Here, yeah. They give you one, you use one. Here, don't question about it. Okay, now, the best way to learn is by example. Let me use two examples to demonstrate, and I will show you this whole thing can be very, very confusing. Okay? So, before I show you example, I haven't finished this map, but sorry. Mole and quantity related by Avogadro constant. Mole and quantity related to our color concept, which means that you want to change mole to quantity or quantity to mole, you must use that number. You must use this number. Okay, so now, okay, what about the operation? Same thing, mole change to quantity, mole change to anything times. Quantity change to mole, quantity change to any, uh, anything change to mole, divide. Understand? This rule is still applicable. Mole change to any particular thing times. Anything change to mole, divide. Here? Yeah? Okay, good. Now, let's use example to help us to understand the question. Huh? Okay, example number one. Now, this example later, I want you all to copy because it's very, very important. Like this one, okay? Now, but don't copy now first. Let me finish my explanation. The question is this. Huh? The question is this. You guys are given 1.5 moles. Okay, you're given 1.5 moles of carbon dioxide. You guys are given 1.5 moles of carbon dioxide, okay? So you are given the Avogadro constant, and A, yeah? Avogadro constant will give you 6 times 10 power 23. Let's say I'm lazy and I give you 6.02, I give you 6. It's okay. They give you what? You use what? That's it. Okay, now, yeah, the first question is this. Find the number of molecules. Question B, sorry, question B, find total number of atoms. Find the total number of atoms. Question C, okay, question C, go to find the number of oxygen atoms. Okay, first of all, when you read the question, do you realize this question sounds so different like just now? As if it sounds very complicated, isn't it? Hey, you see, just now the question we have, uh, don't have sub-question ABC one or not. This question got ABC so pattern, you get it? Okay? 
like many sub question just don't have volume don't have one question only one mass don't have only one question Turn on. this question oh my god got so many and you can see they play with the wording it makes it sounds complicated why you see molecule atom atom see that so they have so many different ways am i right okay that's how they make it confused so no worry follow me step by step huh? let me explain okay as usual ask yourself a simple question what you have and what you want okay so the first thing is that what i have here i have 1.5 more i have more one what i want so i wanted to find the molecule molecule means quantity yeah so i want to know how many molecules how many how many means quantity la. More and quantity related by Avogadro constant. Okay? Mole change to any particular thing times. Let's work on it. What is my mole? 1.5 times. What is my Avogadro constant? 6 times 10 power 23. Are you that? Key everything, you get 9 times 10 power 23. Understand? So this is the amount. Is this answer what we want? Yes. Why? Guys, recall back. They want us to find molecule. Actually, what is molecule? We Reca recall your chapter two. Okay, revision ah, uh, revision ah, uh, everyone. Chapter two ah. Uh. Okay, in chapter two, the first lesson you are with me. If you are with me that time, I told before, atom is anyone who come alone. Molecule is anything formed by non-metal and non-metal we call non-metal gang. Okay, ion is anything that carry charge. Or anything formed by metal plus no metal. This is what you learn with me in your first lesson. If you are you okay with that? Yeah, guys. Actually, they asked me to find the number of molecule. What molecule they referring to? The carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is the molecule. Why? Everyone follow me. Carbon dioxide formula CO two. Carbon dioxide made by no metal carbon and no metal oxygen. When you have no metal and no metal merge together, that further is a here, so actually the molecule they ask you to find is referred to carbon dioxide. Understand? Here, so now you have this much really and be careful with the unit. So since they ask the molecule, your amount is you. I have 9 times 10 power 23 molecules. Understand? Okay? Settle up. Huh? Okay. So molecule is never a problem. Listen to my word. Molecule is never ever a problem. Your problem arises when they ask you to find atom or ion. So, my second word is here. My second word is that I want you all to be very, very careful okay, if the question is actually asked for your atom or ion. Be very careful if the question asks for atom or ion. Okay? So, how and why? Everyone follow me, please. Now, this question wants me to find the total number of atoms. The question want me to find total number of atoms. Okay, follow my guide. I'll throw some questions to you and I want you to think and answer me. Huh? Okay? Alright, guys. Now I already have 9 times 10 power 23 molecule. They gave me carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide formula CO2. My first question to you all. They give me CO2. They give me CO2. Is the CO2 given by the question is an atom? Is it atom? No, product. Because CO2 is not alone. Am I right? CO2 is not alone. CO2 is a non-metal plus non-metal merged together. CO2 is a molecule. They give me molecule. Very good. My second question to you. Since the CO2 is molecule, can I break the CO2 to make a CO2 alone and make them become atom? Can I do that? I can uh, okay, imagine if I got CO2, I got one piece of C and two pieces of O. If I cut them away and make them alone, how many atoms I'm getting? Everyone? Three. Okay? So every one CO2, I got three atoms. Am I right? Okay, let's do mathematics. Don't do chemistry, yeah? Mathematics. If today I got 10 CO2, how many atoms I have? 30. If today I got 1 million CO2, how many atoms I have? 3 million. So you see, no matter what number I do, you were able to find it because what you need to do, you times 3 only. Am I right? Now, I ask you a question. In this particular question, do you know how many CO2 you have? You know, right? That molecule CO2, ma? Fantastic. 
you have 9 times 10, sorry, you have 9 times 10 power 23. So this is the CO2 you have. And we know every one CO2 got 3 atom. So your magic number is 3. Understand? Now, you just need to worry this thing. A lot of people always ask me, Sir, I know what happening, but sometimes uh, a lot of students always say, Sir, I sometimes I'm very blur. La. I don't know I should times 3 or I should divide 3. If you are in such a situation, if you are in dilemma, you don't know you should times 3 or divide 3. It's very simple. You just ask yourself a simple question. I have one molecule. I break it down to make them alone. After break them down, become atom, you are getting more or you are getting less? More. One whole CO2 broke down to form three atoms. You are getting more. As per mathematics, when you want to make something more, you should times or divide. Times. So you times. Understand or not? Here, it's the same thing, ma. Just now, 10 become 30. 1 million become 3 million. Now, 9 times 10 power 23 become what? Times 3, no? Your final answer 2.7 times 10 power 24. Understand? Here, the final unit I'm looking about. Looking on atom, finally, and Tom's finish. Here, are you okay with that? Anyone don't understand where the three coming from? Good. Anyone don't understand why I times three, not divide three? Very good. Okay, good. Huh? Okay, now come to here. One more question here. Now, the next question find the number of oxygen atom. A. Hey, this question also atom, nah. just now also atom. Nah. What is the difference? Just now the question one, total atom. I want everything. I want carbon, I want oxygen. Understand? This question, I still want atom, but I only want oxygen. Understand? So no worry, don't be panicked. Just ask yourself a simplest question. What you have? CO2. Every one CO2, how many oxygen? Understand? So your magic number is two. Here, all right now, every one CO2, two oxygen atom, 10 CO2, 20, 1 million, 2 million. Understand? Magic number is 2. So how many CO2 I have? 9 times 10 power 23. Every 1 CO2 got 2 oxygen atom. Okay, again guys, important moment. Times or divide? Times. Understand? Because 1 CO2 become 2 oxygen atom. You want to get more. To get it more, you times. Understand? Can you see common sense is applicable? Here? Yeah? That's why most of them use common sense one. Okay? You times. Okay? So you get 1 for 8 times 10 power 24. Settle. But be careful, huh? you cannot write atoms. Because if you only write atoms, huh, the examiner will talk that you refer to every atom. Correct. Now you only want oxygen, huh? so you must write oxygen atom. You can either write in the words, or you just write a letter O. Understand? Here, so I have this much oxygen atoms. Can you see the idea? So this is the hardest one. Why? Some of you just get confused with atom molecule, atom molecule, atom molecule. You blur me. Here, okay? It's just three words, and the whole thing can become very confusing now. It's all good there? All right, one last question. Eh? One last example to show you. Okay, so this is example number two. Uh. Okay, example number two. Now, be very, very careful. Let me settle this whole thing. Huh? Okay, you guys are given. You guys are given. Um, let me put some number to help you get okay. 2.4 times 10 power 24. 2.4 times 10 power 24. Okay. Uh, so called oxy oxygen atoms. You have. 2.4 times 10 power 24 oxygen atom. Okay? The question asks you to find the number of moles of oxygen, sorry, oxygen gas. Find the number of moles of oxygen gas. So you guys are given the Avogadro constant 6 times 10 power 23. Huh? Sometimes 6 times 10 power 3, sometimes 6.02. Depends on what they give you. Okay, first of all, don't worry, just follow me. Huh? What I have, I have 2.4 times 10 power 24 oxygen atom. So when you tell me atom molecule ion means I have quantity. Understand? Okay? Atom molecule ion, all of them are quantity. I have quantity. Okay? So what I want to find? Mole. So quantity to mole. 
What they need to know, relationship, avo garu, constant. Operation, anything become more dy. Are you with me? So far, all good? Fantastic. Now, put it in. Uh, 2.4 times 10 power 24 divide Avogadro constant 6 times 10 power 23. Final answer 4. Are you that? You have 4 more. Now be careful. This 4 more is referred to what? Okay? Initially, the 2.4 times 10 power 24, the amount is referred to oxygen atom. So when you get the mole, of course the mole is still oxygen atoms. Am I right? Just like the same thing I told you before. If initially the amount I give you is durian, when you find the mole, the mole of course is durian. True not? No way I give you initially the amount is referred to durian. When you find the mole, it becomes rambutana. No way, true not? It doesn't make sense, true not? I give you durian in the first place. When you found the answer, of course it's still durian. But now, moment of truth, the question, do we want durian? That is the question for us to ponder. Look back to here, what we want? I want to find a mole. Okay, I got a mole already. I want to find a mole of oxygen gas. Okay, everyone, what is the formula for oxygen gas, everyone? O2. O2. Okay, oxygen gas is O2. Everyone remember, most of the gas, I didn't say all, huh? most of the gas come in two. Okay, most of the gas come in two. Oxygen gas, O2. Nitrogen gas, N2. Chlorine gas, Cl2. Understand? Most of your gas come in two. Are you good with that? Good. Now, I wanted to find oxygen gas, which is O2. Now, I get only O. Understand? Okay, now, important moment. O and O2. 2O combined to form 1O2. 2O combined to form 1O2. So, my magic number is 2 here. Remember that? Right? Now, important thing. Times or divide? Times or divide? Divide. Why? Everyone, look at me. Look at my demonstration. Huh? 2O combined to form 1O2. 2O combined to form 1O2. 2 become 1. Your amount is getting lesser. Understand or not? 2O join to form 1O2. You want to get it lesser. You should divide or not? Just now different ma. Just now is 1CO2 break down to become 1C and 2O. Or not? Just now you break it down so that you form more things. You times. Now you join them to become lesser. You should divide. Understand or not? Does it make sense? Is it very confusing so far? Okay, huh? So you, you use divide. Okay, because this thing times or divide, a lot of people are so blur. I got, I got some of the students who just joined me in Form 5, but they don't understand this 3 months before SPM. They still don't understand. I you feel that. So I want you to get it clear, not before SPM. Today, after today, you have to know this. Okay, so the final answer, 4 divide 2, 2. So in the end, you have 2 moles. Huh? Be careful, this 2 mole that you have is referred to oxygen gas is what? O2. Understand? Simple as that. Okay, let me ask you one more time before we finish this. Anyone of you don't know where the 2 coming from? Anyone of you don't know where the 2 coming from? This number? Okay, eh? because I want to find O2, but I only have O. 2 O much only can get 1 O2. I get 4 more of O. Imagine I got 4 dozen of O. I don't want O lah. I want to find how many dozen of O2. So I know every 2 O can form 1 O. So 4 divided by 2, I got 2 dozen of O2. Clear? Get the picture? If you think more is so confusing for you all, you can relate with dozen. The concept is the same. Are you okay with that? The only difference is what? Dozen is 12. More is 6 times 10 power 33. Understand? The only difference is that number. But the concept is very similar. Okay? It's all good. And you will agree with me that among 3 legs, this is the most confusing one. Understand? You can confuse just by one word. Atom, molecule, ion. One word only. Here, okay, now, same thing, do some exercise. Once everything done, we will combine everything together. We will have all three legs come in later. One shot. Okay, but don't worry by now. Huh? For now, let you do some exercise first. Okay, take out your exercise booklet, everyone. Okay, I will simply give you about 10 minutes. Turn to page number three. Turn to page number three. Everyone, take out your exercise booklet. Turn to page number three. Same thing, you can see yourself that I marked down some question there. Okay, do the question I marked down. Question one, A, B, C. Question four, A, B, C, D. Question seven, A, B, C. 
Okay, total 10 questions. Okay, I give you 10 to 15 minutes as well. That's all. Guys, we have finished what we should learn so far. The whole map settled already. Okay, so now it's for you to practice to so that you really can understand the whole logic. Okay, so guys, so far my explanation clear enough. You understand what's happening? Okay, now you do it. Because after you listen to my explanation and you do it on your own, you will understand even better. Come on, 10 to 15 minutes, nothing wrong. Now. Now we will we have finished everything on the map. I repeat, we have finished everything on the map. Now for the last 10 minutes, I will teach you two last things. Number one, I want to recap the whole map all over again in three minutes time. Recap the whole map that we have been learning. After that, I want to show you SPM type question. The question that you do just now, most of them they want us in SPM. They are very easy. SPA will make a little bit harder, just a bit, just a bit, okay? Then some people will say, so why you give us some question that we never ever, you know, uh, encounter SPA? This question will give up your foundation. If you not even learn this foundation, you won't be able to do it. Are you okay with that? All the question here to build up your basic. Trust me, once you understand basic, SPA question is not going to be hard. I'll prove to you using three questions. Huh? Okay, now, we do two things. Huh? Number one, let us recap on our map, huh? everyone. What we have learned from last lesson and this lesson, okay? When we wanted to do mole calculation, our mole can be converted to and converted from three furler. The first furler is called mass, okay? So mole, the unit is always M-O-L. Mass, the unit is gram. Huh? Remember, mass got unit, relative mass doesn't. Okay, mole and mass related by RAM, relative atomic mass. RAM sometimes they also call molar mass. Are you feeling that? Sometimes if you look at the exercise, they give you molar mass. Don't get stuck. They are the same. Here, all right. So remember operation. Mole change to anything times anything change to mole divide. Settle this. Second one, mole also can be converted to and converted from volume. The volume is referred to volume of gases. Volume of gases, the unit is dm cube. So in PT3, we are more familiar with cm cube. One dm cube equivalent to one thousand cm cube. Okay, so you must know this. So you have two possible number. Mole and volume can be twenty two point four or twenty four, subject to condition. They give me STP, I use 22.4. They give me RTP, I use 24. It all depends on what they given to me, okay? Alright, so mole change to volume times. Volume change to mole, divide. Last thing, something we learned 30 minutes ago. Mole also can convert it to and convert it from something called quantity. Quantity also called amount. When you count the amount, you are counting the amount of particles. Quantity of particles can be referred to how many atoms we have, how many molecules we have, and how many ions we have. When we want to change mole to quantity, we use Avogadro constant. Avogadro constant is about 6.02 times 10 power 23. Sometimes question give you 6. Here, they give you what? You use what? Same thing, mole change of anything times. Anything change of mole divide. It's all good. This is everything we learned for the last one and a half lesson. Understand? The last one and a half lesson is all about this. Okay? Now, let me show you three last questions, three last examples before we close up this part. Huh? Okay, now I will show you SPM type of question. Let me show you SPM type question. Eh? I'll give you three examples. Okay, SPM type question. Okay. So in SPM, they always ask you something called double conversion. I repeat, in SPM, they will ask you something called double conversion. What is double conversion? You calculate two times. Just now, everything you do, you calculate one time only. Now, they want you to calculate two times. Again, don't get frightened by me. 
you do step by step, you follow every rules I teach you, you'll be fine. Let's use three examples to demonstrate, then we finish. Okay, come on. The first example, I really need your attention. Huh? I really need your attention. The question is this. Huh? this huh? The question is, find the volume occupied by 11 gram of carbon dioxide at RTP. You guys are given RAM, carbon is 12, oxygen was 16. You guys are given molar volume. The molar volume at RTP is 24 decimeter cubic. Okay, now, first of all, again, please ask yourself the simple question again. What you have? what you want. I have 11 grams, which is the mass. I wanted to find volume. So I have mass, I want volume. Everyone put your eyes on the map. I have mass, I want volume. Mass and volume, do you see any shortcut from mass to volume? No. Okay, what you should do? Go to find the mole first. Okay, that's the second grade. So that is the most important takeaway for today. When you come to chemistry calculation, when you get stuck at it, or when you not even know how to start your calculation, find the mole first. I repeat, in chemistry calculation, when you got stuck or you don't know how to kick start with your calculation, find the mole first. Once you find the mole, you are able to do everything. Here, okay, I give you a non-chemistry example. You see, huh? let's say this is Malaysia, okay? This is UK. You want to go through UK from Malaysia. If there is no direct flight, means what? No need to go. Huh? No, we still go. We take interchange. We take transit. Malaysia, fly to Dubai. Dubai, fly to UK. Understand? You get an idea? You take transit, that's the idea. So the transit here is mole. So whenever you know you don't know what to do, you find a mole first. Why? Mole is the midpoint. When you are in the middle, you can go any place you want. Clear? So this is the most important concept you must know in chemistry calculation. Always find the mole first. Clear? So what you should do? Don't do this. You should change the mass, become mole first, then only mole become mole. Here, yeah. can you see your do calculation for two times? That's why you call double conversion. Understand or not? Okay, don't rush. Do one by one. Okay, do here first. Mass and mole, we learned before Chinese New Year. Mass and mole, relationship, R, A, M. Okay? Anything want to become more operation? Fine. Okay, let's do it. Okay? So my mass was 11. I want to divide by R, A, M. I got carbon dioxide. La. Carbon dioxide the RM carbon was 12, oxygen is 16. I got 2 oxygen by the way, I got 44. 11 divided by 44, I earned myself 0.25 mole. Are you me? You found a mole ready, but ultimately you want volume. Mole and volume we learned moment ago. Mole and volume related by STP, RTP, thingy. RTP. So RTP magic number 24 dm cube. Mole become anything times 0 0.25 times 24. Final answer 6. Okay? We want to find volume. So ultimate unit for volume, dm cube. Okay? Finish. We get full mark in SPM. Simple as that. Clear? That's it. That's how we do. Are you feeling that? Just do two times only. Just do two times only. Okay, one more. Last example. Ah. Last example. Example 2. Last example, example two. Okay, let, let me make it a little bit tricky. Yeah? Okay, I want to find the number of atoms. Okay, oh my god, atoms come up. Find the number of atoms in. Hmm, let me think of the figure first. Yeah? Let me think of the figure. Let's make it a bit interesting. Find the number of atoms in eight, eight 
thousand centimeter cube of let's say sulfur trioxide. Okay, you guys are given okay find the number of eight hundred cm cube of sulfur trioxide at standard condition. Okay, let's do this together. You guys have some additional information. You guys are given, you guys are given, Arvo Gadro concern, 6 times 10 power 23. You guys are also given the molar volume, the volume of the gas, huh? the molar volume at standard condition. Standard condition, the magic number is provided, double 2.4, that's the meter cube. These are all given, huh? don't memorize, please. Okay? Now, let's do it together. Okay, ask yourself two stupid questions what we have, what we want. I have 8,000 cm cube, everything power tree is volume. Okay, I got volume though. I am looking about number of atom. Atom means quantity. Understand? Atom molecule ion, quantity. Okay, awesome. Now, be careful, huh? Okay, volume cannot change the quantity. You can see, huh? I am volume. You are quantity. I cannot go to fire directly. Interchange. Understand? Find the mole first. Okay? So let's find the mole first. Then only the mole for the quantity. Okay, do step by step. Volume to mole related by RA, RTP, STP. Standard condition. Standard condition, magic number. Double 2.4. Double 2.4. Why do you want 22.4 on this one? 8,000. 8,000 not nice. The number not nice. Okay? Change a bit, lah. easier. I don't want some opinion number. Sorry, let's go for room. Lah. Let's go for room. Easier. Sorry for that. Lah. Room condition. So room condition, I go for 24. Because 24, the number is easier for you to calculate. I want to make it as easy as possible. Okay, now, let's go for it. So volume to mole is room condition. Room condition 24. 24 decimeter cubic. Anything change your mole operation? Divide. My volume was 8,000. Divide by 24. Can we divide? Cannot because irregular units. Understand? The numerator was cm cube. The denominator was dm cube. Make everything the same. Here, let's say I make the denominator become cm cube. So dm cube becomes cm cube multiplied by 1000. So I become 24,000. Understand? 8000 divided by 24,000, my final answer is one third. I got one third more. You can keep your answer in fraction, you can keep your answer in decimal, it's okay. Clear? Alright? Up to you. You can let your answer to be in fraction, you can let your answer to be in decimal. Okay? Okay, now settle. Mole to quantity, Avogadro constant. So when mole to quantity, operation is times. Okay? So your mole is one third though, your Avogadro constant was 6 times 10 power 23. Now, be careful here. So when you times it up, you get the final answer 2 times 10 power 23. Now, ponder. Is this the answer you want? Is this answer you want? Okay, why not? Listen carefully. Huh? So, the things they give me, so far all the things they give me, the volume they give me refer to sulfur trioxide. So formula for sulfur trioxide, so sulfur is the S. Trioxide, tri means 3, SO3. So the amount I found is for SO3. My question to you, is SO3 atom? No way. Turn off, SO3 is not atom. Can I break the SO3 become atom? Can. Every one SO3 broken down, how many pieces of atom I got? Four. So magic number is four. Okay, moment of truth. Times or divide. Times, because I break it down to form more atom. Very good, all of you learn something. Here, times, good. So magic number is times. So 2 times 10 power 23, magic number is 4 times 4. I got 8 times 10 power 23. This is the amount of air forms I have finished. End of story. Understand? Not very hard. This is it. So you understand the whole logic. You will make your, under, your calculation very easy. One. Here. Not very hard. That's why I say, I heard some very crazy statement. I told before, I heard people say this calculation harder than that. Meant. I heard that. Okay? Because you don't understand. If you understand, this is even easier than your modern maths. Okay? But if you don't understand, this won't be very, very hard calculation. Because guys, chemistry calculation is not technical. Lah. Like what I say, no trigonometry, no algebra, no simultaneous. It's just plus. 
minus multiply d1. Here, you just need to know when and which one to use. You are good, okay? We are done. Finish. Okay? We finished with everything already, okay?